Have you ever wondered why so many superheroes are straight and cis? No. no. So have I. I thought part of the answer had something to do with this thing called IP. IP stands for intellectual property, and it basically means ideas that are owned by other people. So when a writer like Teeny Howard writes a comic book like Betsy Braddock, Captain Britain number one, the character Betsy Braddock- Did you expense this? Belongs to Marvel. Which means if you want to do anything with her that makes you money, you need to get the approval of that owner. That includes putting a character like Betsy in a queer relationship, which Teeny did. What happens when companies don't give their approval? Well, queer subtext in comics has been a thing for decades. If you're gonna make us hide, we'll open bars. If you're gonna make us hide, we'll have slang. If you're gonna make us hide, we'll have secret posts. And Teeny said she was writing Rachel and Betsy's interest in each other subtextually while waiting on approval to make it more explicit. But Amanda said the focus should be on institutional barriers rather than legal barriers on how to use certain characters. We can do something clever with them, something that is more rich and interesting and opens up the world, not just of comic books, but all around us. 